Good evening and thank you so much for joining us. Now, Uganda's majority young population have found their voice mostly on social media platforms. From community engagement to high octane debate, oftentimes social media has proven as a vital tool in guaranteeing the freedom of expression and protection of the right to speech. But whilst these debates have increasingly become divisive, partisan and controversial, the contest has remained on what limits should be put on what can and cannot be said. Do people have a free reign to insult those they disagree with? Or even more, must the insulted use the pangs of criminal law to limit the speech of those they disagree with? Are there already existing laws that address this rather unique phenomenon? And if they exist, are they enough? Tonight, my guest is the mover of the Computer Misuse Amendment Act, Honorable Mohamed Nsedeko, the Kampala Central Member of Parliament. Good evening, Honorable. Thank you so much for joining us. Good evening. Uh, I, I must say that I, I'm so happy that you're here. Um, it's, it, it, it's been hard um, having you back on the set. Um, but I, I want us to start. Um, this afternoon, the president put his signature to an amendment that you started uh, before the parliament. Um, how do you feel about that? Um, do you feel it's a, a win for you? No, no, it's not a win for anyone. It's a win for Ugandans because... Um, uh, part of my role is legislation in Parliament, and I've done it in different ways, uh, partly by contributing to different acts so through the appropriation uh, mm -hmm. during parliamentary debates and uh, uh, procedures and through committees, but also having moved a bill that I think, and I have hope that uh, if we clean up our uh, cyber climate uh, or cyber atmosphere, we hope for the best. And I can tell you, it will help much, much this country. As uh, someone who is a huge advocate of uh, technological advancement, I believe this is required. Make the playing ground non-toxic, make it amazing, and all players will enjoy it. So uh, we, um, you only talk about the internet, and uh, but the computer is wider than what the ordinary eye sees. Mm. There's a lot that is done on the mm. computer. But, but mm. I, I want us to start there. Um, mm. And you've mentioned uh, to make the internet space non-toxic. Mm. Um, some of your critics disagree with this amendment act mm. very severely and mm. suggest that it extends into limiting freedoms of expression. It extends into political persecution because it creates a criminal offense that mm. stops um, those convicted from running for office for 10 years. Um, what what, what do you say to your critics uh, around that? I think that was amended and not included, though I very much liked it. Uh, and uh, I can tell you, uh, the more we give our leaders responsibility for what they undertake to state and to do, the more we have a better society. I know it will create an inconvenience in the short term, but just like every medicine. Uh, but in the future, it will help our country grow. If you want to destroy any society, just abuse the laws. Just um, do away with the laws, and you'll have a destroyed society. It will be in a free fall uh, towards destruction. But what can I say? Of course, it's their right to criticize. Fine. That is also part of democracy. Uh, it was uh, well drafted, put before Parliament, that went through it, and it's now an act. And uh, there are procedures of legislation. And uh, we undertook all the procedures of legislation. We interacted with them. The committee invited all of us, including myself, to defend my position as the proposal of the bill. And I have no doubt that if you want to construe it politically, it's your choice. But if I tell you that if you intercept someone's password and withdraw their money from mobile money, you're committing a huge offense, then you may choose what to do. Someone was telling me, and I've not gotten the audience, or so looked at uh, the video of uh, two young children that have been made, have been told to do pornographic acts by a teacher. You've heard about that? 
Yes, I've had. Um, I've actually and seen a you, lot of the debate on social media. What do you think media. about it? Um, so, so, and, and maybe the, the, let me start <laughs> by asking you around that. Um, there are many people who say there are already existing laws, and uh -huh. not even people. If you read the Data, Data Protection and Privacy Act, it covers it's that. True. If you read the Children's Act, it covers a lot of these criminal offenses that yeah. you saw to include. No, no, I've, I've it's just that uniquely your bill introduces new limits to freedom uh, yes, of expression. Uh, but is, there is no limit to freedom of expression. You're free mm. to express yourself in the right way. Do it rightly. Mm. But what and is I've the right way? I've strengthened it. Yes, and that's why, the right and that's why you're feeling the pinch, Mujuni. Mm. That's why some people are feeling the pinch. Mm. And that was the intention of this law, mm. to become more deterrent. That, listen, when you wake up and you want to post someone's children doing pornographic acts, and you spread them all over the world, you don't know whether this child can commit suicide. Think twice. Be responsible. And we are only telling you, you have the right and freedoms to express yourselves, but you also have the right, you also have to understand that you will take responsibility. Mm -hmm. Better be factual if you say Mojuni has been caught sodomizing a 14-year-old child Please better be ready to produce that evidence if Mujuni so wishes. Mm -hmm. The issue is if Mujuni or the state so wishes to prosecute you. Mm -hmm. If they don't, that's a different story altogether. Mm -hmm. You understand? So the law is predominantly saying you cannot intercept my conversation. All right? If you do it, you have to do it legally. Even if you're in the state apparatus. Now, it is more offensive if before it was attracting a penalty of about one year for a state officer seated there on his desk just because he can access the apparatus of the state to listen into your conversation. It's different now. Mm. But it will about attract a stronger penalty. Mm. And from that level, you might not be infringed, mm. someone else is infringed. Mm. If, if, if you want to hack, just a, sorry, yes. a second. Okay, if you want to hack into my computer and take away what belongs to me, my intellectual property, if it's in business, whatever it is, yes, you have to understand that is the evolution of technology and so should the laws. So if you're telling me there are existing laws, I, I have a choice, either to strengthen this one or to go and strengthen those same laws. Mm -hmm. So now the debate would be as to whether the following laws have been used by the law enforcers. That's up to them. For me, I'm playing a ground. I'm giving you a ground. If you want to use them, it's up to you. I've given you the maximum limitation. And the issue came from the victims who tell us, listen, this guy has done X, Y, and Z. Portrayed me and my wife in such a manner. Or my children posted them, and then they say, I went to court, and they said they would only give me 200,000. The cost of my own prosecution is X, Y, and Z. The fine should be punitive enough to create deterrence in society. Of course, imagine a society without laws. I mean, I was talking about something with one gentleman, and I said, you don't need tra 3,000 traffic officers on the traffic lights. Install a camera. Pick all the data of every single number plate user, and you know this car belongs to Mr. Raymond Mojuni. Pass there, and you get a message in real time. Using AI, artificial intelligence, I will send you the message, Mr. Mojuni. You've passed the Ginger Road traffic lights. <laughs> it can't be corrupt. It's not corruptible. And you have a due of 300,000 shillings. If you pay it in four days, it will be reduced within four days to 150,000 in accordance with the law. If you pay it, you'll get a message thanking you. So it's because we don't do certain things, you understand, that makes people think that ah, it's not doable. Mm. These things are doable. If you want to comply, you can mm. comply. If I talk of hate speech, I mean it. Mm. I know Honorable. where it has taken the United States now to be mm. that people walk out and shoot others on the basis of their color and race or religion because they have been either intoxicated, I, they, they, have be, they, they, they have been told certain matters, and uh, they have been uh, given certain information that has changed their way of thinking and radicalized, whether online or otherwise. So 
the person that does that online must know that whatever you're doing to say that Raymond Mojuni, innocent as he is, he's a Westerner, he deserves to be hacked to death. That's a big joke. So if you think that's infringing on their freedom of speech, I'm sorry. I'm trying to tell you, spare the road now, and you'll spoil society beyond repair. Mm -hmm. Now, there's a huge debate about hate speech. People are walking with guns and shooting others on the basis of their color or religion. Why? Because someone has told them blacks produce so much that they want to take over our country. Repetitively, it's creating hatred. Yeah, but, but, uh, no, I'm trying no, to tell you. Yes, but but, but, no, but that, that that is the United States no, no, of this America. Is, Here in Uganda, no one's walking around with a gun me, sir. and shooting you, no, 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 In no. any case, the state is arresting people M for belonging Mujuni, to political I, I, parties. M M M people M have been denied bail for belonging to political parties. Mujuni, yes, I, I don't, this is these are the Mujuni, questions that I, I'm asking. I, I've you. been prosecuted before. Yes. Are you trying to tell me this is new? It is not new. If the state wants to prosecute you, it doesn't need a bullet to prosecute you. If the state is against you, don't tell me, Mujuni. Of course, there are some isolated cases of errant officers that have not performed their duty. But do not tell me that there is a deliberate policy by the state to prosecute Mr. Mujuni. You have an opinion. You hold an opinion that but might it, be negative. Just a second. It, yes, it, it seems to me, no, 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 honorable. Uh, and, and I want to just be firm no, on this. You, it, it seems to me no, that, that people whom the state disagree with, Kakwenza Rukia Washaja, Stella Nyanzi, it seems to me that those people get ka, prosecuted a lot. Mention um, 10. People who support the state mention, aren't prosecuted. Mention um, 10, my brother. Yes. No, I, um, that's why I'm asking you. That it is, seems to me, it that, seems to me that, like that. That is the role of. Some the people are prosecuted even in court martial. We okay. just had a case. Um, of Amazing. 51 people Amazing. at court martial I talked about who've been this. there for three years uh, can I for just being members of the National Union. No, not for just it being. Would mean, that it would mean that that's a divisive actually, I policy. Take, I take that to be below the belt. They are not mm. being prosecuted. I don't want you to be a robo rouser of the No, party. I'm just asking. It I seems don't to me that, that I don't think that yeah. the offense mm. <laughs> that they are being charged of is belonging to NOPE. Otherwise, there are many members of NOPE. Mm. So it's not those 51. What I find probably amazing from what you're saying and uh, partially true is they, as they said they are in a possession, they were found in a possession of military attire, which was the beret. Correct? But what I should ask, the same thing I should ask the prosecutor of the UPDF or the prosecution, there are many others that are wearing the beret outside. So are there those that you prefer to wear the beret in the national unity platform and not to those 51. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? No, but, but no, no, I'm, I'm trying to give you no, the no, no, reality. This, this, this is the you, point. You the avoid, point, the point we're making is go, the divisive you, nature of prosecution. No, that's what I'm saying. So if you, you want, have, if no, you want to delve into that debate, yes. we can go into that debate. Okay, no, no, let, let's so talk about... So if you say they're arrested because they belong yes. to a certain political party, mm. I find that not particularly okay, let's, factual. Let's, let's, but what I find factual... Yeah is that within that political party, mm. there are a few guys like 51 who are in prison for wearing a beret. And there are others outside that political party who are free to wear the beret and even yeah, come yes, for but, TV but shows. Yes, but um, we so haven't seen I prosecution for Tamale Mirundi who wears the, a yellow that, beret. That, that, we haven't I'm seen saying. prosecution for Andrew Mwenda who wore have, military party was in a military for that I, I, Yes, but this is what we're saying, that but, the divisive political but, culture targets okay. only those that are against the state. That's why I'm saying I yes. agree with you. But if you say it wholesomely in that way, I've mm. seen people coming on your TV show with the red beret and leave. So the same question I want to pose to the state. Are there within the national unity platform those that collaborate with you mm. and you can allow them to wear a beret and leave? J since if we were to take your narrative mm. that those that agree with the state can abuse the laws and walk home. Mm. You've cited uh, Tamale Mirundi who is wearing his yellow beret and he goes home. I don't know whether that was gazetted as one of the attires of the military. And equally, there are those within the national platform that wear the beret and go home. Mm -hmm. And I would like to join part of that defense team that says, listen, this is being applied selectively. Is there any other ammunition that you found with these young men 
rather than blanketly saying like Mr. Mujuri saying. But Honorable, this saying, has been known for four no, years. You haven't challenged that. It is that. true. You are a Kampala no, central no, member parliament. You don't even have He's to say that. He's a resident. Listen, you, you, you are amending a law uh, 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 on uh, uh, computer misuse but, but rather than Mr. on Mr. Mujuri, do you want me to speak? Yes, I want you to speak, but I have to ask you those questions. I helped, and you can I helped one same Fuka and nine others as their lawyer to be freed from Chitalia. You can go and pick your facts from Buganda Road. He's an open mobilizer in Kagugube Parish, in Chivuru Village, okay, in Kampala Central. Yes, but we haven't seen that energy for the Eddie Mutuez. We it is up to you. I, listen, you Eddie, Eddie, Eddie. But you represent listen, Kampala. Listen, I, I, not, not, I, think I, you, I don't represent I Kampala. I think you, you have do, a problem. Are you saying mm. I have to do it for everyone? No, Eddie I'm just asking. You Eddie haven't Mutu. done that. I'm, I, I'm probing your subjective I'm, I'm, motivation. I'm, I'm, even, I'm, even, I'm even glad you're mm. saying I haven't done it for Nubi and Lee and Eddie Mutue. Mm. Sorry, there are those that did it for them. You should be asking their peers why they have not shown the same energy for the 51 mm. like they showed for Nubianli and Eddie Mutwe. Mm. And anyway, why don't you ask yourself, and I don't want to go personal and uh, say, I mean, I w remember, I'm not so certain about their bail conditions, but they had said that they cannot travel. You remember when they were being released? I'm not so certain, but they are free to travel. Honorable, so I, I don't I know what you're talking about yes, let, let when me, you say a demut way. If you don't yes. invite me to be your lawyer, yes. no, 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 I no, cannot. Honorable. But on the floor of parliament, when you talk about Kakwenza, I was one of those that condemned torture, not only on my wall, against him, and demanded his release when he was in incarceration. On my own page mm -hmm. of Facebook, you remember? And on the floor of parliament. Honorable, I, I, I want to come to a, a rather more important question. Um, yes. The Supreme Court of Uganda, the highest uh, court in Uganda, yes. set down the law. Justice mm. Mulenga set down the law. Say the freedom of expression, mm. it, it's, uh, it includes freedom to impart, receive and impart ideas. Mm. And it says the restrictions can only be in a free and democratic society. No, no, no. And those restrictions, it says, first of all, have to be acceptable, two, have to be justifiable. Mm -hmm. When you walk out on the streets, do you feel that the restrictions you pressed on people yes. with this are justifiable yes, and acceptable? Absolutely. How? Absolutely. How in a free I've democratic society? I've told you society? you cannot wake up in the morning and you say Westerners or Uganda must be killed. That's what I've said. And what do you think about it? But you haven't defined that in no, the bill. Because the, if the bill says if you, hate speech, it doesn't define it. Listen, so what do you define you, as hate speech? You, hate you, you left hate has been defined. No, 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 not and in the bill. Know, not don't in the worry bill, about it. Circle. Don't worry about yes, it. Yes, not in the bill. You know, yes. you, you know what hate speech is. No, okay. no, 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 no. I, what, what, what I believe hate speech to be. What you believe hate speech to be. No, no, I don't even, I don't even need, I don't even need to believe what hate speech is. But... Anything that is meant to ridicule mm. a particular society or particular individuals, all right? Mm. And I can tell you by profiling them, and you know that as a matter of fact, if I come here and say Muslims are killers, Christians are rapists, and X, Y, and Z, it means I'm profiling a given number, I mean a given society, a given class of people for the purpose of getting them ridiculed by society. And uh, I can tell you, um, I stand strong on this. And I can tell you it's something that will be amazing. You might not see it now. Mm -hmm. Maybe probably, or someone might not see it. Mm -hmm. Maybe they will be wearing different political lenses at the moment. But they're good for society. And I can tell you, I'm proud to say that anyone that does child pornography should go to prison for 15 years. I have no regret in that. Honorable, there's a and child, if you think, there's and a if Children's you, Act which has been enforced since 1997. It's, it's extremely but weak. But you, you could have amended the Children's oh, Act, you, you didn't. You see, you have no right to tell me what I should No, 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 but I'm asking. No, why, why, I'm, this, I'm probing you, you your motivation. The problem. I'm probing your motivation the, for this law. You want and, to, and I'm asking you, you, you why want, didn't you amend the Children's you, Act? And, and, I've and told, and maybe I've, if I could ask my producer to run for us. Just a second, just a second. Article 8. I had the option. Mm. to either amend the Children's Act or the Computer Misuse Act. Mm. You don't tell me which law to amend. But this is why I'm asking there is you. A law. Your there subjective motivation yes, to target a, computer misuse yes, because looks like it's limiting freedom the, of expression. Which one? And looks like who it's limiting the, people who tell second. things that you don't want to who hear. Who tells you that the computer is only used for expression? No, no, no I'm just asking. Because it seems like you, so do you want there an are an opinions answer? you don't okay. want to hear. Do you want an answer? That you've defamed. Uh, do, do, you, do, you want, do you want an answer? Yes, please. Is the computer only used for expression? No, 
It's not. So what else do you Computers want? Computers is just a platform. Exactly. Yes. So I've told you. Mm. It's a platform that you can use for trade. Mm. And I've told you if you hack someone's password or X, Y, and Z, mm. you commit an offense. Is that offensive to you? There is a data protection and privacy you see, act, which handles you see, that you honorable see, code. You see, that, that's why I'm telling this you. Is, this is why I'm asking you honorable honorable code. No, let, let's I, ask. Okay. I, I want us to get the question Just clearly. a second. Are the you, question is, there are existing Mr. laws that address Mr. almost Mujuni, all the things Are you asking me because you act? have a specific answer in your head or you want No, 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 no. Me? I'm asking you because there you're is not a, answering my there question. Is a what is your subjective listen, motivation there is a for this law? To protect the general society from what I spoke about. The fundamentals. What, which fundamentals are these honorable things? But you've heard them. I've told you one. Mm. Cyber misuse. There's a computer misuse act for that. But I've told you I've strengthened. No, 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 no. No, there's you a see, computer misuse you act see, for that. You see. You say children, there's oh. a children's act for that. No. You say passwords, there's a data listen, protection listen, privacy act listen, for that. My you just introduce new things that in a way you want to limit the freedom do you want of a shouting match? It's not a shouting match. It's a question speak, that I need an answer speak to. Speak after you speak, I'll yes. speak. So what is the answer to? What is your subjective motivation for amending a law that already exists that has other I, existing I, laws? I think you have a it. problem. Yes. Which law says that we cannot amend laws in parliament? There's no law that says that. So what but there are laws that say there's a data Pro protection <laughs> act, for example. There's a children's <laughs> act. It's running Mr. on the TV. Mujunia, uh, it's right here. The children's with, act. With, you, with due respect. 1997. This is what was with made With due respect, law. I'm not here so, to shout with you. Okay. 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 You're not here to shout, but answer the question. I, what is your subjective listen, motivation? You don't tell me what to answer. Yes, but because I am the host. Uh, okay, then, the host then you answer call. yourself. Okay, I'm asking you the question what's your subjective Please, motivation can i give you my answer or okay. you have your answer okay your answer sir do you do you want me to answer okay your answer oh you've come with the no 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 no, no. your answer sir what's my your answer is motivation? simple one mm. there is no law that tells me i cannot amend a particular law mm. and the one i chose to amend is the computer misuse act mm. and the reason is the progression in technology mm. and the cyberspace so it's up to you if you think there are some clauses within the Children's Act that you feel would be amended to select a given member of parliament or even interest me mm. and say, please, a certain clause X, Y, and Z might need amendment. That is one. Two, there are many laws that are cross-cutting. In the Penal Code Act, there are laws that are against abuse of children. All right? Yes or no? Don't we have a, a, a children misuse act? I mean, I mean a, 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 a prohibition of sexual pro a, a exploitation clause, I mean um, section within the Children's Act? We have it. You can commit an offense under the Penal Code Act, all right, that tantamounts to theft and embezzlement. You'll find the same offense under the Anti-Corruption Act. So there is no law that says if there is a particular law, maybe let's say in aviation, it cannot appear this side. No. And that is all I can but, tell you. Okay, all and right, I've sir. told you, mm. if you intercept someone's computer with an intention, all right, to either with a criminal mind, to either maybe steal their data or to crack their passwords, you have abused, you have acted in bad faith, and that's computer misuse. Mm. Honorable and Mr. the Mr. answer is very simple. Honorable Mr. Mr. Let me ask, just a second. Uh, yes. Under this particular act, you have committed an offense. Mm. Honorable Mr. Let me ask you a question. You said that this law is targeted at addressing the advances in technology. Absolutely. What particular provision in your law at targets the advances in technology and says these but ones here are the ones but, that but are But I've to told address. you, yes. when you're sharing information, mm. it's part of the advancement in movement of data, maybe videos or voices or whatever is about children. And I've told you, for example, there is a video of someone telling children to commit acts of uh, pornography and they have continued to share them. If they are children, you're a young father. If, mm. uh, I mean, you're a father, you have young mm. children probably, or you intend to get, if those were your children, what stigma do you think it they would grow up with? pornography act. It's very weak, by the way, it's very weak. There is, it's very weak. And what I'm talking about, for regulations and I'm by, the by, by the way, what I'm talking about, mm. there is an anti-pornography, you know, act, but I'm talking about 
one recording, picking it up and sharing it. Now, these are under the computer misuse. All right? So if someone intends to realign both, now they will go back if they want to create amendments to other laws because there are many things we want to amend in the Children's Act. It's not that particular clause. So if someone intends to bring more amendments to protect children in other ways, whether it's through education, ETC, mm -hmm. then they have, I mean, uh, they have a chance. And uh, you can interest yes. many other members of parliament yes, to do uh, Honourable, that. I want to come to, to uh, the critics of your bill who came before parliament and actually presented their opinions. Some include CPESA, some include um, law scholars. And they've said, um, one, mm. that they feel that your bill doesn't actually address Which the technology. CPESA was one of those that came before <laughs> um, your panel and said, you know, this bill doesn't actually address uh, the fundamentals of, of changes in technology. The bill doesn't talk about, for example, bullying and trolling of women online. The bill doesn't mention does. um, the bullying and trolling that happens to, to people who are on TV like myself. In what section does it? It, it does. And you I say it does, but in what section it, does I, it? I can tell you um, it, bullying has a component, and the components of bullying will be the following. Not only someone throwing jibes and insults towards you, but the previous law was, I think, substantive on stalking. You know, cyber stalking. It was substantive and firm. And I think there needn't a lot of amendment. But if anyone sends hate speech towards you, it's part of the wider cyber bullying. Yes. It is. Mojuni oh. is X, Y, and Z. Mojuni is this, this, and this. And if they cannot substantiate and they don't have proof about that, of course they are bullying you in the cyberspace and they can be convicted under the same law. Mm. Honorable, I, I, I want to, to address uh, an, another matter. And I'm, mm. I'm glad you're a legal scholar. Mm. Um, civil versus criminal law. Mm. Criminal law exists to protect the state. Correct. Uh, civil law no, exists no, to, to mediate to between the state. The yes, and the, the state. state and you. Mm. Civil law exists to mediate personal interests. Mm. Mm. It looks to me that if I abuse you, it's a private interest between you mm. and I. Mm. You have a defamation mm. law, mm. which you can run to, go to court, challenge, and say, Raymond has lowered my reputation in estimation of right-thinking members of society. Society. True. And the court will give you some level of relief. They, they, why, why don't you prefer there that even criminal, over the use of criminal proceedings? There is even proceedings? criminal defamation. Yes, but why, why must I go to, to jail? Uh, I for, mean, you, for, you for must this? ask uh, the framers of even previous... No, but th I'm, I'm asking no, I'm you saying, now. Well, you can ask yeah. even framers of previous laws. Mm -hmm. The reason as to why it doesn't just end by that is that there are people that can take it for a business and a joke. That they ridicule you and supply that information for fiduciary ends and if you call for fines <laughs> they can walk away with a fine and I said no problem I run a story against Raymond Mojuni I sell it on YouTube I get fifteen thousand dollars the law says that the maximum I can give him is fifteen million and I come and I say yes I did it I got fifteen million that's why it must be both a fineable law, but where they find you repetitive, and that's within the mandate of the judiciary, or if you're a first offender, they can even tell you, fine, you didn't know why you did this, you, you, it wasn't intentional, you've had this in court, and they can say, please, Mr. Mujuni, mm, you can as well go. You, you I've had, don't mention I've had the damaging. case of, yes. uh, I think, uh, Jennifer uh, Nakangui, full figure. Uh, they just told the young man, the young man said, I'm still in school and I have some school to do. And they told him to pay, I think, 400000 and uh, go and apologize and he's claimed to be a first offender. But if he does it repetitively, maybe then court can think otherwise. But, but that is within the but hands of court. There are so other I examples of where the court has been I, very restrictive I, I, in its penalties. I, I don't, I Justice Wako Wambuzi's but, but, case, but, um, Pius Bijirimana's yes. case against the Daily Monitor, those have been punitive, uh, uh, that, almost that, breaking down businesses. Don't, don't yes. worry. The, mm. What I want to say, that is the preserve of court.
Yes, but so that's why I'm telling you I that in deformation suits, if, if the courts can give punitive damages. But that's damages. okay. You have a choice. Yes, but those punitive damages already exist Mr. Majuni, in civil law. Mr. Majuni, why are you creating Mr. criminal Majuni, law for Mr. civil Majuni, if dispute? If you, but there is also criminal deformation. Yes, but I don't why, why are you create, you're, no, no, you're walking why are you out. You're trying to give the dispute. impression that there is no criminal No, no, no. no. Honorable sir, because the thing I'm asking is if I've abused you on this show, you can go to the court of law and say, Raymond has abused me before this show. And these are the punitive damages that I want to be passed can we leave it to be yes. a choice? Why must Raymond be arrested? Uh, for disagreement, no, it's a uh, private, no, no, it's a private matter. It goes way back in history. Okay. Private disagreements you in you Europe you is want, where you the want civil to law develops. No, I'm just mm. developing the point. Okay. Private disagreements in Europe, mm. in Spain, where the civil law developed from. Mm. That's how they've been handled mm. for time. I, What's unique about Uganda? I, I can tell you why, why, why Uganda is unique in its nature. is because our culture and traditions are unique. And I can tell you as a matter of fact, if you think they are not unique, there are some things you can't do before his uh, majesty the king. You might uh, laugh about it, but there are some things I can't do in, in front of uh, Omukama or you. Because our culture is different from those cultures. And we must understand that. Um, I was talking to someone in the... Arab world, which we talk about development and X, Y, and Z. And he was telling me, no, it's only in Uganda that people abuse laws and they think you can be lawless, you can throw bottles around, and when they come here, they say, hey, here you cannot take someone's picture because here it's strict. Then you tell them, but why? Then they say, but they have told you it's their culture. You can't use my image for your personal gains. If others feel comfortable, then yes. But those that don't feel comfortable, I don't want to go and photograph your dear wife, Mr. Mjuni, and crop her up with someone else and serve out that story. You might not understand it today. You'll understand it maybe in the future, probably, if it goes to your family and your children. Mm -hmm. And I wake up in the morning, she might not have the same name and weight as it is as yours to sue under defamation. But I can tell you, under computer misuse, someone will think 10 times before they harm a nobody. Mm. All right? Before they harm a nobody. Before they do cyberbullying towards you. Before they come out and say this and this belongs to a certain community. Mm. So for protection of bigger society, no one knew that genocide would come in Rwanda just because of a radio. Freedom of speech, freedom of speech, freedom of speech. At the end of the day, it was one million people down. But someone was just saying, what do you think? They are Hutus, we are Tutsi. Don't you think one is superior? What do you think about cleansing them? And the question, just a second. For those that started... We're about to take a break. For those that started the international law about that, and what the Rwandans have been saying all the time, and said, guys... You all kept quiet when we were telling you a radio was inciting people to do certain acts. Probably some could have viewed it as it didn't happen then. So there was freedom of speech. But then when it happens, then what? Mm -hmm. So what I'm trying to say is that we can all responsibly disagree, criticize one another. I mean, like you've given your proposals and you've decently given your propositions and no one says no. But the moment I come here and say, <laughs> Mr. Moji, and uh, write a blog, or I come on my video and say, ladies and gentlemen, today Mr. Mojuni has been found in a kafunda raping someone. And I supply that on YouTube, and I share it, and I even attract rewards by payment. And I stop that, then I pick on another person. Mm -mm. That, there will be a limit. <laughs> so I, information, I, but uh, uh, thank you so much, Honorable Nseriko. Let's take a very short break. When we get back, we continue this conversation with Honorable Muhammad Nseriko, mm -hmm. who was the mover of the now successful Computer Misuse Amendment Act. Thank you uh, so much for staying with us on the spot. We are in conversation with Honorable Muhammad Nseyeko, who was the mover of the Computer Misuse mm -hmm. Amendment Act that was signed into law today. Mm -hmm. um, Honorable Nseyeko, I, I want us um, to focus now um, rather on the politics, mm -hmm. less on the law. 
Um, so now I wanted to focus on the technology. Yes, yes, but we are getting there uh, because the politics is really the technology mm, of it. Um, tech. Part of our introduction here was that Uganda is increasingly becoming young. Um, uh, a lot more young people mm -hmm. than you have the old people. Mm. Possibly about 64% of our population is young. A lot of them express themselves through social media. Um, a lot of them express, they don't have large platforms the way you have them, the way you enjoy them. But also, they are in a governance system that largely doesn't support their dreams, visions, aspirations, and ambitions. Um, and that governance system has made it hard for them to speak back. Um, if if we, we mention, for example, successive amendments to the Constitution, the youngest legislator during the amendment to the Constitution was 38 years. Mm. Um, if we talk about changes in the National Development Plan, again, they're the, not there. The, the, youngest the youngest legislator was about 38 years. During what? When you were amending the age limit. No. Yes. No. Yes. So no. now, the, the, the yes, Gerald Karanga, no. he went no. to court no. for no. it. So the, the question that I want to ask... Honorable Zake was actually very... Yes, young. but the question that I want... About yes, he was 29 the, uh, the question or that 30 I, at yes. the moment. The question that I want to ask mm. is, the anger that you see on social media mm. isn't anger that's directed at individuals like mm. Muhammad in Senegal. Not at all. It's directed to what you represent. Mm. What is it about your political culture mm. that says... I won't respond to this anger. Mm. I will just build a wall mm. which creates a law mm. between you mm. and I so that every time your anger comes, mm. I can lock you up. And uh, how do you account for the pornography? No, no, no. I'm just asking, what is it that, that creates that kind of political I, no, climate? I'm, that's why I'm asking you, have you chosen to cherry pick? I'm not cherry picking. There's mm. an anti-pornography act which <laughs> already addressed but that. See, I, I, I love the way you cherry pick when it comes. I am not cherry picking. Okay. Yes, but, but that's... Can you address my law and what it talks about? So don't tell me what the anti-pornography law talks about. Talk about what no, my law talks about. And I want to pick out my law. Please my, answer my, my question. My law, my yes, law. please answer Am my I question. Am I in court? Yes. No, 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 no. Please answer uh, my question. Uh, please, I'll answer yes, what yes. I feel comfortable to answer. Yes, and, and that's, that's the problem. As put, uh, that's you, the problem. Yes, absolutely. That it's, you it's can't not find a, comfort. Uh, yes. You yes. can't discomfort people and Ab find comfort. Ab absolutely. Yes. Listen, it's my right to tell you what I want to answer and the way I want to answer it, mm. Mr. Mojuni, uh, with due respect. Um, so, like I've told you, my law talks about a lot. <laughs> And if you think you'll skip what I've told you, it's even harder and harsher on pornography. So it's very important that I educate society. Please do not share pornographic images of children. Please. It is criminal We've from today. No, no, no. Don't worry about okay, that. Okay, my if producer can run the children. I, if, if your choice. Which already? No, but there is a law, I'm telling you now. Mm. It's running from, for as long as it gets gazetted in the next two, three days, mm. then you can be convicted under that law. Mm. Hon honorable. So, if we are here for an educative program, mm. it's better we also help society. Yes, and, 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 there is someone. And honorable, uh, there is some. Is, my brother. There I am is someone, sorry to do this, there but is I have to insist. In, I have in, to insist. In no, you, yes, I have to insist. Well, you. The question then that you I ask. Give yourself the, answers. No, the question so that you're I ask saying. Is I, I, the answer is that I've not built a wall uh, around yes. myself, and I'm telling you clearly: be responsible for what you say, Mr. Mujun. That's all I've said. You have the freedom to say that. Mr. Ansereko did not attend parliament yesterday. If I didn't attend it, it's factual. No one has stopped you from saying that. All right? Do not fabricate what you want in order to make benefits. That's not me building a wall. Mm. Okay? You have the freedom to say that we've processed less than 40 bills this financial year. You have the freedom to say that I did not speak on a particular bill. That's your freedom, absolutely, all right? And I've not stopped you. You even have the freedom to say that I spoke X, Y, and Z, all right? But I'm only saying that for whatsoever you say, in breach of my own freedom, be ready to take responsibility. If you share, wh why do you even talk about me? I'm telling you sharing other people's images. Do you need to share mine? Do they need to share yours? Is that infringing on your freedom? Mm -hmm. Do you have the right to record someone in a room where you're having your mutual arrangements uh, as elders and you let it out? 
That is not right. Just a second, Mr. Yes. Mujuni, even mm. if it's your wife mm. and you did not agree and she entered and without her knowledge, you recorded her in your room and you held her in blackmail. With that, I can tell you if you let it out, it can be from your own computer. Mm. All right? That is part of misuse. Mm, but oh no, because no. you're sharing our image. All, yes, all that you're but telling me. But that is me. what I'm te telling yes, you. It's part, no, of the, it's part of the act. Okay, you've made so your case. You're talking you've about made your case. And, and, so and I, I, I beg you that you listen to me. So I'm All that you're talking so about existed in the Data Protection and Privacy Act. I have strengthened before it. Before you created Do you have a this problem? amendment act. I have strengthened yes. it. So now, let's get to the question that I asked. What have I strengthened? The political culture that you have built is non-responsive to the in your opinion, of the say population. in my opinion. Yes, in my opinion. Good. And in the opinion of some others, that the political culture that you've built is non responsive to the demands of the day. And it's created this anger and anxiety. And that anger and anxiety has built up. It's become pensive um, over the years, it's become aggressive, and increasingly it's becoming abusive. Okay, can the I question, respond? The question that I'm asking you is as a politician who's served two terms in, in parliament, mm. Um, possibly going on to your third. Do you have space in your reading room, private thoughts, where you say, there's got to be something that can be done that's not legal to address this civil matter here? Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. And, and, and what is can, it that you're I, doing can, about that? Can I tell it to yes. you? I'm one of the people who engages with people often as a politician on social media and talk to them. Do you have any doubt about that? No, I don't. Yes. I, I, so that shows you that I've taken an extra mile to do educative programs as an individual, to even interact with the lowest of the law that you presume. But so Mr. Mohammed in Sedeko can I complete the government can of Uganda. And I the government of Uganda isn't you're, delivering you're, you're telling me. You, 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 yes, no, no, no. This is the question the that co I'm asking you. You address the question to me. Yes. When you have a government official, mm. you'll ask them that Yes, question. but what in you and I share right. on Facebook, the, for, uh, with all due respect, Honorable Sedeko, what you and I discuss on Facebook, isn't what you discuss in the, on the floor of parliament, isn't what gets into law, Mr. isn't what becomes the Mr. national development Mr. plan, Mr. Mujuni, isn't you, what becomes the I don't think response. you've interacted with me on Facebook as we many have. times. We I, have. I don't think yourself in particular. Mm. But for the record, let me be very candid with you. I run social media programs where I interact freely mm. with persons of different views and I even, even give them the audience to listen to them. Mo some don't even agree with me, but I continue to interact with them. When I post even some disagree with me, and I continue to interact with them. So that is not a problem. It's not that I'm, uh, I, I don't like criticism. No, I do like it. I like it the responsible way. We can criticize one another responsibly. And I can tell you, you can say this X, Y, and Z today, but in the future you'll come back and thank me and you say, you know what? You help society. What is not factually true, like you said, that uh, in 2021, when we made the amendment, that the youngest member of parliament was 38 years, that's absolutely not true. The Honorable Francis Zake was uh, extremely young, and uh, he was part of uh, uh, the team that was in parliament by, by then. But what I can say, there are many young persons. and. For me, what I feel is that, what do the young people need? They need opportunities. Mainly, they need a great education that can assure them that they have the skills, the requisite skills that they can have to serve the labor market, nationally and internationally. Two, they need a playing ground for better opportunities for them to start small businesses. Have I legislated around that? I think you're perfectly sure I've done that. And I'm one of those proponents of tech, helping people become programmers, come up as small software engineers, start up fintechs. I remember when I was opposing the law in parliament of introducing of a hefty sum of money that uh, small fintechs should put up as a uh, uh, a minimum reserve with the Bank of Uga, with the Central Bank. And everyone didn't understand what I was talking about. Then um, 
I remember in this appropriation bill in the budget, I told them, listen, we have the opportunity. We cannot give every young child a computer to digitize our society, but we have the opportunity to let them fend for themselves. Let's allow computers that are three years of age to come in untaxed. Reason, they are not so old enough to be dumping in this area, but they have become cheaper because three years, some companies let out all the computers, remove all the da their data and the hard disks, and let them out for as cheap as 30, 40, 50 dollars. Mm -hmm. And an ordinary person in uh, Lukolongo can buy this gadget for the kid. And let's start the coding programs, the software engineering, artificial intelligence and robotics, training people the importance of uh, uh, using the computer very well, ETC, and how they can harness money. So I believe the young people have a potential. We can guide them. We can guide their energies. And I'm doing my training slowly. A few have started with those in the university in Makere, mainly those in software engineering. But I also want to get those that we can retool. For example, dropouts of senior four can be retooled into network engineers. It takes about six months mm. to train you to become a good network engineer. We are re-rolling out as the 5G comes on board ETC. There are many more jobs that come with tech. But people can even start working remotely as data, data entry clerks, ETC. So there are many opportunities, but also the mindset. For people to think it's politics that will change me and this and this, yes, Politics is a vehicle. Governance is good. But there are some questions we have to sit down together and say, listen, as the world thinks about digitization, what percentage of our people are digitized? And what content do they access when they get these digital tools? Because I'll give you an example. The algorithm of the content that you get affects the content that you get after. What you tap first on mainly, for example, social media, is what will come normally, or what you choose to search anyway. Mm. So I can tell you without fear of any fact, Uganda has a future if we invest in technology for our young people. Mm. By on training them, I, I'm trying to tell you, by trying yes. to show them that the responsible way and the right way to use this take is by being digitized, be disciplined on this ground, such for productive yes. content and yes. educative content. On you can invest yes. in fintech, you can invest in telemedicine, you can okay. invest in uh, uh, content creation for you yes. in the media on, on and ETC. Yes. Let me ask you a, a rather uncomfortable question. Please um, do. And uh, you're free to campaign for people to be disciplined. The freedoms that people enjoy under Chapter 4 of the Ugandan Constitution, mm. which include the freedom of expression, allow for them to, to do as they choose. Mm, In the early 2000s, no, as uh, no, 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 I'm going to quote. As exclusive. early as 2000s, mm. Justice Mulenga mm. wrote down in his in his judgment. Mm. We tolerate foolish and sometimes even dangerous appeals, mm. not because that they prove true, but because the freedom of speech is indivisible. In uh, his people, opinion. Yes, people, it's not his opinion, it's mm. now the opinion of the Supreme Court of Uganda. He says speech should be protected even for those mm. we think are saying mm. untruths, mm -hmm. things that we don't deem true, because it's hard to determine what's true. Mm. And yet, I find it hard that with all the legal knowledge that mm. you have, Having interfaced with this judgment, taught it even at Makere Law School, you drafted a law that doesn't expressly determine what is malicious information, mm. doesn't expressly state what, what those things are. Mm. It, it leaves room for people mm. to interpret them anyway. Mm. I could tell you today, Mr. Muhammad Din Seriko, I mm. don't like your jacket. That's that fine. could be malicious not information. At all. Not at all. No, but that's hey, the thing, the, the interpretation of the law. Uh, you've I, left it so broad uh, and open. And I can tell you, Mr. Majun, you mm. know what is not malicious. That's why, that's why but, but that's you've not come the up with some... There is uh, you and I can agree that the, the law the, there sets is, out the, to be exact. There is, there is that what, the law there is sets what out to be precise. You would consider as a joke, even in your opinion, you know, that would be a big joke. But I can tell you, uh, without fear of contradiction, I have a lot of respect for the late Justice Mulenga and uh, his opinions. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you <laughs> that was then at that time. Now there's a lot has that has evolved in society. If you would tell him that someone would sit somewhere during that age 
and hack into a computer and uh, turn the turbines mm -hmm. of ginger to alternate the opposite direction and blow you up to a tune of a cost of $300 million. And you hear an, a country like the U.S. that says, man, you breach our cyberspace, we will pick you from any country, which you would never have heard of in the 2000s. You know that? Uh, honorable Zerko, I, I, no, no. I, I, yes. because it would yes. endanger. But, but the, just a second. Let, let, let us look at the screen. It would endanger yes, their I, national security. Yes, I, I want us so to look at the screen. So you had the Snowden case. Eh? Yes, but I want us just to look at the screen. You had the WikiLeaks. I, I, I admire Snowden, but this is the just Ugandan law. Just a second. Yes, the but countries. I want us to read the Ugandan law. Don't worry. The, the United States fine. has a culture. They has a history. I love that. But Thank you for admitting. Let's read the Ugandan law. Mujuni, before you go there, the countries you've been quoting, I'll give you the case of Julian Assange mm. who leaked some things by cable you would say this is freedom of speech can you tell me his fate now sir here is Andrew Mujuni Munda <laughs> versus Onyango Obo <laughs> Justice Mulenga lays the, out the law it's, for a heterogeneous that, country fine. called Uganda that's which fine. you have legislated for and I've said he says he says yes. and I quote the protection is most mm. relevant mm. quote the words mm. most relevant mm. and required when a person's views are opposed mm. objected to by society mm. or any part thereof mm. as false mm. Or wrong. But this is a Supreme Court judge. Yes, yes. Honorable yes. Zerko. Yes. I didn't hear yes. it. What, I, I, what did, I didn't hear the amazing judge telling me whether it would be false to say we should kill all of our formula. No, 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 no. <laughs> here, it actually, he says, he, in fact, in the longer judgment, he says, mm. the, reason that say the reason that we permit, the reason that we permit the freedom of expression is to allow for the discovery of truth. Uh, can, and on the can, path can, of discovery of truth, they can be, it's possible it can be some things will be wrong. Mr. Majuni, yes. I can tell you mm. the world now mm. can no longer afford to get itself into a situation where, uh, I'll give you an example. There is a guy who ran into a theater and said, ho, ho, fire. There was a stampede. People died. He was charged and hanged mm -hmm. for that. And he said, no, no, it was my freedom. I was just freedom of speech. They told him it was no longer freedom. The stampede that you, creates, that you created by your falsehood caused death of people. Do you know what he said? He said it's because they stepped on one another. That was his defense. In its wise ruling, the court said no. It is this. Seyoko, yes. I'll give you another example. No, 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 no. We, th those the those Boston bombing aren't, aren't Ugandan examples. Now I'll give I have you, given you I'll a give Supreme Court judge and I've told on you, Uganda, and I've, legislative on Uganda, yes. giving the law as regards and, Uganda, and Mr. pertaining a case fine. of facts contained fine. in Uganda. Fine, yes. You're legislating for Uganda. Fine, Mr. Mujuni. Should I also then cherry pick No, no, no don't even cherry outside? pick. I've, yes. I've also told you, yeah. you started with civil law and good practice. Mm. I brought out the example from your champions of good practice. Now you've come back to you. No, 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 no. Welcome. No, 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 no. I, I think you're conflating the debate. Welcome here. back to you. No, 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 no. I think you're conflating the now debate. Now that you're back to Uganda. Been, I have been asking you for <laughs> precisely one hour, 30 now, minutes. Now that you're what back is to your Uganda. Subjective motivation, just a second. Say now, that you're for this law. now that you're back to mm. Uganda and you're quoting yes. the land justice, Mulenga, let me go into his judgment. You are talking about what is false and what is not false. And you are saying mm -hmm. that the issue in contention was, was whether the state would tell someone whether this is false or true, that it would be for people to judge. And I've said I have no disagreement with that judgment. I'm only saying mm -hmm. if you say what is not factually true against me, I have the right mm -hmm. to either go to a civil court or take you to a criminal court. And that is also my right. And then the other right resultant from that is the right for you to be fairly heard. Just like you are saying some things without hearing from me. Then there is a right to a fair hearing. That's why I'm telling you, the rights in chapter 4, every right is one after the other as you go down. So I have the right to privacy, but it's not exclusive to this right. You have the freedom of expression. You even have the freedom of uh, movement, don't you? And I can ask you simply, can you walk into my house? No, I have the right to privacy, unless 
you're backed up by maybe a court order or yes. a warrant to Fantastic. walk into my premises. No, I'm yes. telling you what happened. Yes. Yes. So Fantastic. there is no right that stands independently. Mm. So I have respect yeah. for the judgment of the Justice mm. Mulenga. But the Justice Mulenga did not tell you to lie, not expecting a punishment. <laughs> so if you, if you say, excuse me, mm. if you say, I found Mr. Mujuni conducting an act of rape, and he feels it has offended him, he can go to court and seek the remedies. Then the courts will judge. If you want your argument to be that you can lie, you can go to court and say, I admit I told a lie, but the ruling has been there that we can tell lies. If that is what your defense is, then you pick it out. It can be a defense. You say, Honorable. I have the defense. There is a new defense called telling lies. Honorable, Honorable the defense, the limitation to the freedom is acceptable. What is the defense? No, 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 no. The limitation to the freedom of expression is what is acceptable yes. and justifiable mm. in a free and just and and democratic society. And justifiable. Yes. So uh, I no, 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 honorable. I, I come. Uh, no, honorable, honorable. Mm. Wait. Yes. Okay. Justice Mulenga <laughs> sets out what is acceptable and justifiable. What is justifiable. Mm. The honorable Mulenga says. <laughs> Again, I put for you the judgment here. Mm. That no, protection. that's not the whole judgment. No, 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 no. That's an extra. Yes, this is an extra. <laughs> if you look the at protection, the judgment, no, 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 no. Wait. About six the protection <laughs> is most relevant. Yes. When people like Nsereko feel they are protected. It, uh, that I'm wrong. Mm. When people like Nsereko feel mm. that I am telling lies. Then they go to lies. court. Mm. Yes, but that's when the protection is most important. Yes, they'll protect you. What your law has done mm. is young How? that out no. listen, for people. Mr. Because Mr. now you say it, Mr. malicious information. No, 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 Mr. Is Mr. Majuni, yes. listen to me, hear me out. Mm. If I come and say that Mr. Majuni mm. was in this place performing acts of cannibalism, at 10 a.m., let's say yesterday. And it's clear that Mr. Mujuni was in London at the same time, mm -hmm. and there is no plane that had touched down. Fine, stick with your information that is false. Mm -hmm. Let Mr. Mujuni have redress because it's also hard, all right? But that redress already exists in no, the no, information law. No, no, no. That redress already exists. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> but law already exists. Mr. So, Mr. Just a second. so your subjective motivation Mr. Mr. is questionable. Just a second. You yes. can question it in your brain yes. and thoughts. Yes. But what okay. I'm saying, okay. with, the, with the presentment, uh, with the presentation yes. of your judgment mm. of uh, the Honorable Mulenga, it's like you're even imputing that there is no defamation. No, 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 no. I'm saying. I'm saying. Just a second. Okay. Yes. When you're defaming, de defaming someone, mm. you must say something that is not true. Mm. All right? But the same judgment says there is no what? No, 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 there no. There should no, be no punishment to falsehood. No, no, so, you lower so, the estimation so, of reputation so, of someone thank in you. the estimation of right thinking but members yes, of society. Yes, by saying. By saying an untruth. Thank the you. The court must prove that it's untruth. Thank you. But it doesn't stop you from saying I'm it. So, no, no, no. Yes. I've, by what the your way, I've not said. I shouldn't. Listen. I uh, shouldn't say. No. I've told you, okay, honorable you senator. have all the freedom yes. to say what you think is right. Mm. You also have the responsibility, Mr. Mujuni, mm. to be able to defend it. Yes. So what I'm telling you is that, Mr. Mujuni, no one has told you, do not hold your computer and say, mm. Mr. Mujuni is a cannibal. Mm. All right? Mm. But I, you just have your facts on the table. Yes. That if Mr. Mujuni, some can say, ah, I think he's joking. No, 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 no. That no, if, no, no. just a second. Honorable Senator, what your law does is finish. introduce Let something finish. that says, Mr. Senator might deem this information no, it malicious not might. and go to It is not police. might. Then let the court at judge whether it's malicious or not. Because you see, adjudication can only be done by court. Mm. It's courts of law. And I'm also saying, mm. if you abuse me, or if you insult me, and I think it's abusive, give me the leeway to say I can go to court. Then let court decide whether it was actually not even mm. false or not. But you are trying to say that I cannot go to court. Oh, and I'm if so, and yes, if so, yes. just a second. Mm. Why should I come up and beat up someone because they said something oh, wrong about me? When there is redress in mm. court. Let, let me ask so you rather. The, the judgment of rather. Justice Mulenga does yes. not say mm. that there should be no other law mm. talking about publication of anything false. Mm. No, it's only saying mm. court will determine. Yes, Honorable Seiko, do you find it odd, and this I put to you, yes, that whatever subjective motivation you had for this law, 
Do you find it odd that it came after a contentious 2021 election? It came after the speaker's cars had been leaked to the media and debated wrongly no, and fairly. Do you find that odd? That's Do you also find it odd no, that no, the speaker no, spoke no, 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 two weeks no, before no, you passed the law and no, said, no, you know, we will bring a law to punish no, these people who speak no, on social media? No, Do you find that odd? No, no, Does no, it appear to you not as Not at all, my brother. It's actually mm. baseless because this has... Uh, been on for quite a long time. And, we didn't hear you and, and, and it's fine. Now you've heard me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so no, I'm just questioning that, that's the subjective why, motivation. That is why I'm saying it's mm -hmm. baseless and uh, you're getting it from me. It's mm -hmm. absolutely not true. Mm -hmm. Yes. Would you look a Ugandan in the eye and say that this law I'm isn't... To you. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. The camera is right there. And tell them but that... Me no, no, no. Wait. Yes, wait. Which camera and tell them watch? that this law isn't targeting bloggers you disagree with, no, tweets you disagree no, with, no, 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 no. politicians who don't no, agree with you. No, no, not at all. Uh, let me look at Ugandans. This law is particularly there to help you as a wider society. It's not targeting any single individual. It's actually protecting you in society. It's protecting the cyberspace. I can tell you, right now, a few will feel inconvenienced, but many of you will enjoy the cyberspace when there are no bullies, when there are no people that freely, at free will, come to hack you and hack your passwords and misuse them and share your photos illicitly for the purposes of making money and use of blackmail against you. We can make this country free from hate speech, free from cyberbullying, cyberstalking, and other mm -hmm. things. We can enjoy the technology space, ladies and gentlemen, for the benefit of a generation of our, of our young people and make it better for them. Mm -hmm. There is a lot we can do on the cyber. We can do, uh, jo we can employ people, we can work remotely. There is a lot we can do. Mm -hmm. I can assure you, my fellow countrymen, this law is one of the best laws that will help you as a society. All right. Uh, thank you so much, Chombo Seiko. Mm. We're going to take a very short break, but when we get back, we get into your opinions that have been coming in. We'll also run <laughs> our phone number on the line so you can call and speak uh, to us about this conversation. Thank you so much uh, for staying with us <laughs> on the program. And thank you, everyone, who is watching. I've been receiving some rather interesting uh, feedback uh, from elders of this country from everywhere. <laughs> but we're going to try and, and, and get feedback from those of you that have texted our line. Mm. I understand that our producers put together some of, of, of your feedback, and I want to be able to read um, that out for you when it comes. Um, and this one is uh, from... Kamoga Frank in Mukono, um, the Computer Misuse Act we know is supporting and creating grounds for just one person so that no one can talk about the evil that government does. But we know this law shall be pulled down after the dictatorship <laughs> government. <laughs> I think you will respond to that. That's Mr. Kamoga Frank. It's just mindset. Um, Muhammad Nsereko is boasting around with what he actually terms as his law because it was passed by the ruling government. Not going so political, I do believe that this law was primarily passed because of the anger and the language used by users and not what he actually thinks it will help. Laws have been passed, but in most cases, if it's so general, it ends up failing like the one against alcohol. It was almost against everyone, so it failed. Literally, I don't see any future mm -hmm. with this law. Yeah, Let him problem. join <laughs> NRM in peace and allow <laughs> us to enjoy social the, media. Alcohol, I think <laughs> that Honorable <laughs> Seriko was formerly a member of the NRM. Mm. If Uganda had legislators like in Seriko, our political Arena would be far, thanks in Seriko. Soon I want to meet you and present a cock as a token of appreciation. You're surely a rare breed. Isingoma Mark Jackson, President Umoja House Painters Association. Uh, I think Mark, I'm done, that receives the gifts on behalf of our guests. Hello, interview on the sport. I'm that, that Eddie Wevrana, who's a jet ski in Uganda. Please help me, Honorable. Why he helped Isma, the blogger, get bail when he was arrested for false blackmail and demeaning statements that he makes True. on Facebook and TV shows. Help me ask him. Um, I think that that will be directed to you. Um, thank you, Raymond, for the show. We closely follow from Mr. Nseriko. You have betrayed all of us as uh. Ugandan. <laughs> May Allah reward you <laughs> accordingly. Amen, please. I'm a poor man. Don't come for me <laughs> no, with no. your law. No, uh, yeah, you can see the fear that the law has you created. Can't <laughs> <Greetings> <laughs> Raymond. Thanks for the show. A time, mm. a time has come when some thinkers must ask that question of questions. What is the role of government? Ideally, it is time we went back to reading Herbert Spencer's Man versus the State. That's a very 
interesting <laughs> text that you pick out. I'm not <laughs> sure you'd love everything in it. <laughs> this is Tony from Makindye. Assuming that I found a mother beating up a child maliciously and I recorded the moment, it means this woman will be in a position to sue me for recording her without her knowledge. Does the law look into such you incidences mm. in the case where my yes. recording is in good faith mm, and does. for the good of another person? I think that uh, that, that was will respond mm. to. Um, Abel Buds, uh, thank you, Raymond. That in Serico with his computer misuse law, it's directed to certain individuals by the government through him. Uh, okay, I, I don't think I should read that. Um, do you have any other or... Computer misuse means what? I thought they would be clear and say social media or media generally. What if I use a phone instead of a computer? Does the law no, catch me? <laughs> How much? I think the <laughs> definition of a computer is broad. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. A lot of human rights violations have come up by MPs in Uganda and because people use the same to reach out to them and criticize their methods of work unlike the print media but have editors who first censor what to write. Honorable Nseloko, you are facilitated and used to put this act in play, but one day you will want to take it back when it's too late for God and my country. I think that's Chiguli Emma. Uh, um, a question to Chiguli. Muhammad Nseloko. Um, did you craft this bill to benefit majority of the citizens of this nation who are being oppressed, or you crafted to benefit criminals who intend to scare citizens from revealing their rotten political scandals online? Um, that is Brian um, Musinguzi. I think um, maybe one last. Oh, okay, Th I think those are all. Honorable uh, Seriko, you can respond to some, yeah, some of the feedback. Yeah, uh, all summary. Um, I, I hear it's a problem that some don't understand. Of mm -hmm. course, um, like the other gentleman asking whether <laughs> a phone is a computer or not. Mm -hmm. And I genuinely sympathize with a few of those, and they need to be educated. Mm. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, that gadget is a mini computer that you're having. Mm. It's a portable computer. It's, it, it's a phone. You can use a computer to communicate, whether by dialing mm. and do voice or do video or do text. So a computer is part of that. Of course, we have a long way, and those are the young people that you're talking about who cannot now distinguish between what a computer is and what is not. It's very absurd for our society. The more we should we digitize them, the better. Um, if you politically construe it as that, <laughs> no one has told you cannot. And let me tell those uh, uh, good people of ours, you have all the right to say that this money, X, Y, and Z, was sent to X, and we have not received it. Mm. All right? And that is your right, and no one stops you. Just be factual. <laughs> there is no one telling you you cannot. Two, if you think you would, uh, uh, the one that talked about the child, and I had, I'm glad mm. many were saying, oh, no, but I didn't know. Facebook pulled down the post that I was showing a child being beaten. I didn't know that it violates mm. <laughs> the community guidelines. Thank you, and I told uh, they said, how come in USA it violates? Uh, you know the way the Ugandans talk. Chidja chiti anti mwa America. Badia yo Facebook. Gundi yango. Roku wana ata deyonga baku vomu wana. Nemugamba. And I told them. Mm. You don't seem to understand. These people have studied humanity. That it's not a mere you publishing without blocking the face of this child. It impacts the child. It will impact this child in the future. The child belongs to that woman at the end of the day if that's the mother anyway and she's not a helper or x y and z but also resharing it can also make others feel that it's okay to do it then someone said no for me i want to film a criminal do i even have to ask but the last told you if the intention is good there is no way the criminal who has been convicted is going to come and tell you that why did you film me not at all. So it's the message that was first sent out by those that had their own intentions, ill intentions against the law, and wanted to portray it as politically motivated, as if it's against them, it's against social media. No, please. You're free to operate on your social media platforms. You're free to use them as much as you can. Please use them responsibly. That is all that we are saying as a country. And if you think you cannot do that, then you have a choice. There is a law now. If you want to break it, it's also your choice. But if you want to use and say, dear honorable members of parliament, even if you address them by their names, 
please, can you legislate for us X, Y, and Z? Who is going to come and say that, listen, this guy has ridiculed me? Which court will accept that? Are you trying to say that our bench or our justices are so naive that they cannot distill what is the truth and what is not, you know, that they cannot sieve out? I, I don't think so. Uh, our people should not be speculative. Uh, one time I found um, we were passing a certain village near Ganda. A child, a young girl slapped the mom. <sighs> we stopped and we asked, how could this happen? No, that the mom raised them like that. So the whole society felt, you know what, in a family meeting, a child stands up and slaps the mother. Who are you to tell me to go and get you a cup? I said, right. Then you would see that you spare it now, but you'll see it in the future. You take it slow, you make it normal. Before you know, in the next five, ten years, phones will be in every school. They'll troll your child, she'll commit suicide, or he'll commit suicide. You'll come to us saying, why didn't you put a law? And then we'll tell you, but when we put it, you said it's political. The only thing that I would like to call upon this government, not to think that those, and I've talked about it during the issue of Kakwenza, that listen, if you feel you've been abused under the laws, what of those? that have abused others under the same law. It brings me to the question of Isma. I was spot on. Mm -hmm. I went to help Isma seek bail. He's a blogger. What he said was absolutely crazy. I stood up and I said to her worship, the magistrate, and I said, I want to be on record that this blackmail must stop. And I said it, and the record is there, of course, that if they don't stop, we shall bring laws that protect a man like Suna. To damn here for that, this man's right to seek bail if court deems fit. But that doesn't mean he has not committed an offense. You understand? You cannot troll another man's acts to the extent of issuing falsehoods. He was tormented, you could clearly see it. They finally settled it out of court because every party realized their mistakes. The same happened to some journalists, you remember? They sorted it out, out of court. But I can tell you, there are some people that are dying slowly, and I know very many testimonies. You can talk about leaders. For us, we are immune. You can talk about me. You don't seem to be. I, me, I am. I, I am. So, so for me, then what? But there are individuals that are not in your space. They enjoy their calm. They enjoy their quiet. Let them be. You understand? Do not use your platform. You can jump towards me. I hold a public office. You understand? I've never prosecuted anyone under similar circumstances, even if the law is there, and I'm a lawyer myself. I would look at all the loopholes and find a way. No need. But I warned him, and he's on record by saying, please, I have been told never to do it. So, Isma and his group, it's up to them. If they continue, the law is there. So if you've been saying he has been doing it for the state or others, the law is there. You're free to carry out a, a private prosecution. If he infringes, you're right. Mm. And you say, well, no, yes. this man, this is the limit. Mm. If you post my child, if you do this, the law protects me. Mm. The law protects this child of mine. If you do it, mm. you've Honorable broken Zerico, the law. Are you now willing to be repentant uh, for your part in, in creating this kind of atmosphere? Because from as early as, as, as 2011, uh -huh. um, the things that you were saying about like the what? first family, uh, that like they what? would be dragged in the streets like Gaddafi, like what? The, that they, the, the, their lives would come to an end. These are things that you said but on the record. You, you, you created a culture where anger could be visited on members of the first family. Are you now willing, I, I after this law, to don't, say... No, don't even go to that. This is... I, I created this I culture. I can say what I said. Yes. 
and why I said it. <laughs> I can stand by it. Because whatever I said was factual. And this is what I said for avoidance of that. That we've seen families just like that of during COVID. I remember when they picked on someone's border border of Gaddafi, the late, who was seen as a great man being taken through those strangers. We don't want to see that here. <laughs> and it's not offensive. And if they feel it so, uh, I can I, appear. I didn't say it's offensive. No, I'm I, saying no listen, it created the I climate can, just a second, for I, people to say I can even I can right. even appear mm. on that because I know what I, exactly I said. Mm. I said those are, the, those are not the sins we want to see in our nation. We want to see a peaceful transition in our country where we live side by side together as individuals. Now, I want to tell all individuals, you're free to speak. Just take time and know. Someone was asking as well the retrospective use of this. So can it be used retrospectively? No. Of course, that is a principle of legislation. Uh, you cannot be charged for acts before the law has passed. But I can tell you, um, I encourage our people, uh, be factual, uh, try as much as possible not to use language that creates hate speech uh, towards individuals or, or even communities. Please try as much as possible to don't do child pornography. Try as much as possible not to do interception and hacking, doing money in the middle. Those of you in uh, tech, do not do man in the middle. Do not stand in their way mm -hmm. and try to take what is not yours. You know what hacking is. You know the repercussions. You know what some have really done to business. I know guys that came to me quietly and said, or to say. Because they knew what they were doing. People attack banks and pick off <laughs> 2,000 shillings from every account before you know they have raised a, a 20 million somewhere. And you'll never see that 2,500, you know? If you have 40 million on an account, maybe this was from a withdrawal, all right? Mm -hmm. So there are people that have been benefiting from mm -hmm. that. <laughs> no, but rather yeah. jokingly, they, very few Ugandans have 40 million on their account. This no, is, no, is no, just they, joking. They are, they, I know, <laughs> I know, but uh, there are those that lose money actually, yeah. even on their mobile money, mm -hmm. a yes. mobile wallet, eh? mm -hmm. yes. uh, so, 200 so shillings, 300. Yeah. It's something that you might not realize, but uh, some people can yeah. hack us. So, uh, Honorable, in conclusion, uh, mm. maybe also, and your concluding remarks, there are some people out there who prepare themselves to challenge this fine, law fine, before the constitutional court. That is the law itself that you amended was already being challenged Mr. in the constitutional court. Mr. Mujuni, yes. I have no, no, no problem at all with mm. them because the constitution gives them the right Mm. if they feel infringed by any law, by any adjudication, to go to courts of law. Mm. They absolutely have the right. If you feel you're not happy with the law, you have the right to go and challenge any of its provisions or the law entirely. And if you, you're successful, fine. It's not a problem. It's not the end of the road to legislation, and that is your right. And that's what civility in society is. Mm. If you feel you, you're not happy with the law, Many provisions of different laws have been uh, challenged uh, successfully, and they can do it. That is part of their path. Mm -hmm. So I urge them, the, instead of <laughs> running around and saying X, Y, and Z, mm -hmm. seek court redress if you wish. If mm -hmm. you don't, then. Mm -hmm. the Honorable, law your is there. concluding remarks. Are no, I would like yes. to thank every Ugandan mm -hmm. and very many people, mainly in the diaspora. Amazing. Say, Mohammed, we have this help us with other laws. We shall try. Mainly more the environment and uh, regulation and making it easy for fintechs to start up. Uh, on matters of taxation, I've tried my best. You have all the records uh, through our legislation. The taxes are really too high and deterrent in this society. So some gentleman was, uh, certain gentleman was telling me, why would I invest in Uganda? when I can do it in Dubai. I mean, I only pay one tax of 10%. I have no income tax. It is it's just a it sales tax. Then there are other destinations. Show me cause as to why I invest in a country that would take 
of my money in income tax and then first VAT, ETC and then withholding tax to mention but a few. As a landlocked country we have to look far ahead and see what would be our priorities now. Of course there is huge inflation all over the world. Uh, there is a huge recession all over the world. Uganda is not is at the bottom of the pyramid. We feel it not that hard, but people are trying, are starting to feel it. Mm. The best space, ladies and gentlemen, is to embrace the digital world. The more we digitize our people and we help them use it responsibly, the better. We can build a generation of strong people, of strong-willed characters. And if we wish to do it, Let's not spare the road. Let's clean up the space. Let's make it attractive for the young people. I know the data prices are so high. You remember we challenged them. We were not successful. We've won some. We've lost some. And that is part of legislation. But my passion for tech is huge. I wish in the next four, five years we would make it mandatory to reform this education system. Uh, and you've seen countries reform there. So that programming and coding starts basically from primary schools. Take away the taxes, the huge tax burden on the parents that they would meet to get even if refurbished computers of about three years so that their kids can grow up knowing the digital space, the use of that computer. You know, they can become data entry officers, others can become good in cyber security, others can be great animators and they can be content creators, they, others can do robotics and uh, artificial intelligence. Look at, and I can end with this, thank you for the time. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, look at the economy of South Korea. South Korea has 53.7 million people, plus, plus, minus. And its GDP is about $1.5 trillion. $1.5 trillion. Mm -hmm. Much more than 30 African nations combined. Compared to even India, 1.3 or 5 billion people, and it has 2.5 billion trillion dollars. So, we don't need to be very many. We need to make a choice to be productive. Where is the strength of the South Koreans? Beauty products? Technology. And electronics. Mm -hmm. This is their path. Look at the production of microchips in the world. The battle of the microchips. A microchip will be in every gadget that is electronic. Sensors. These are small things. Then you look at a small island like Taiwan. A single company, like the Taiwan Manufacturing Company, that has production net of 579 billion dollars. Company, a company. You cannot even equate it to the economy of Uganda, Kenya, Tanzania, Rwanda, Burundi, and Congo combined. We have this wealth. We are sitting on it. If we do not skill our people, the only thing that can close down the gap between the poor and the rich will not be lamenting. It will be acquisition of digital skills and change of mindset. If we accept to change our mindset, we don't need to be very many. We shall stop the path towards the second wave of slavery mm. in this world. <laughs> and the only thing that can get us to this path is to choose what content our people will enjoy. And you've seen countries are so strict. Y you had that debate about TikTok in China not accepting foreign content. And their content is exclusively education. Not that what we get is bad. Yeah. There is also good content. Yeah, but, but on, we're on a diverse TikTok. country. <laughs> we're, we're, we're a diverse a, country, a, but yes, let me tell exceptionally you, diverse Mr. Mojuni, there was a reason uh, why at times in schools, parents chose some schools. Mm -hmm. You remember when we were still going to school? Mm -hmm. And you'd find all of them lining up to say, no, 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 no. I need to get a place in Nabisunsa, in Namagunga, in Chisubi. There was a reason. Mm -hmm. And there were some schools, I will not mention them, where you would come in in any shirt, whatever it is, and no one would line up. At the end of the day, we can say the end justifies the means, but we must create the path. Mm. When I looked at the education system of South Korea, I said, oh my God, these guys started from eight to five and go home and come back for prep. Of course we are diverse, but look at the struggle for catch up. We must do much more mm. in robotics, 
artificial intelligence, mm -hmm. machine learning, uh, data analytics, that is where we can have a leverage. We mm. have strong brains. We cannot just donate them mm. to just, you know. Yeah. We can be good in entertainment. It has mm. a lot of money, huge mm. sums of money. But let's train them to get to the better path. All right. Thank you very much, Uganda. <laughs> yes. Thank you very much, Mujuni. <laughs> okay. It was a wonderful debate. I okay. have no <laughs> ill feelings. To I'm no, not no, no. offended in yeah. any way. No, no, no. no. Thank, thank you so much, Honorable Sereko, for having us. Honorable Sereko and I disagree very strongly. Absolutely. Um, um, but on, on many occasions, he's been able to come to this program. And today, I gave him a very, very, very late call. And he agreed to come to this program. So I thank him for that. So, but also disagreement is healthy for society. Absolutely. The very first innovation in the world was fire, which happened because of disagreement between rocks. Disagreement is part of innovation. It's part of growth. It's, it's part what of development. Gets us there, man. And those of you that disagree <laughs> with this law, please, the, the Constitutional Court, now the doors are open. Um, the, the, the Facebooks and Twitters are open for us to disagree with it. Let's disagree and continue um, as a country <laughs> moving forward. Thank you so much for being on this program. I've been sitting in for Patrick Kamara. Please send him your prayers. He's getting much better. He will be back by the next program. Have a good evening, Ugandans.